this is the story of Chris the Savannah King. So the crocodile shown here is most likely not even 20 feet. In addition, the supposed photos taken of Chris were lost in the Brisbane floods of 1974, so there is no existing evidence to look back on to verify this croc. Another aspect that's suspicious is that, as far as I'm aware, no attempt was made to cut off the head of the animal, a common prize for croc hunters. However, there is one factor that should be brought up which gives some validity to the claims of Christina and Ron. This factor comes from this man trusting their story. The man pictured here is Graham Webb, and if you don't know who he is, he's considered one of the many grandfathers of modern crocodilian science. A good chunk of what we know about these animals right now comes from the research Graham Webb did starting in the late 20th century. He was quoted saying, I spent three days talking with Ron, and everything else he told me about crocodiles turned out to be very precise indeed. I can't imagine him fabricating something like this. I actually contacted Graham Webb for verification of this quote as I was writing a book that looked at the story of this crocodile.